The JSON object in JavaScript is an object that allows you to either parse or stringify something. So the JSON object looks like this, and we have methods parse and stringify. And we're going to be looking at the parse method in this video. So what we're going to be doing is Ajaxing in the file that we've already created, parsing it, and then seeing how we can work with it in JavaScript. So the first thing that we're going to do is write a little bit of code just so we can Ajax to this people.json file. Let's go ahead and create a new variable called XML HTTP. And let's set that to a new XML HTTP request. What we're also going to do is create a variable here called JSON. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to open this people.json file. So we use XML HTTP dot open. We choose the method. In this case, I'm going to choose get. We choose the file. In this case, people.json and we pass true in. What we then need to do is do an XML HTTP send method. So let's go ahead and check this in the browser and let's check the network tab to see we're actually uh, Ajaxing this file in. You can see that we are. We get the uh, we get the JSON in here. So what we're now going to do is we're going to create an on ready state change handler. So we say XML HTTP dot on ready state change, and this is going to be a callback function here. And in here, we're going to go ahead and first of all check the ready state. Second of all, check the status, and then we'll start to parse this JSON. So let's do a quick if statement here to check that the XML HTTP dot ready state is four, and the XML HTTP dot status property is two hundred. So once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this variable here and assign it the value of the response text from this Ajax request. So just to make things just make sure things are working, let's go ahead and console log working. So let's go ahead and refresh, head over to the console, and we can see that everything's working here. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is set JSON to XML HTTP dot response text. So let's go ahead and console log JSON just to see what we get in our in our console. So we see that we get this string here. This isn't actually an object at the moment because we've not parsed it yet using the JSON object. So what we're going to go ahead and do is head over here and instead say json.parse and wrap the response text in here. So let's go ahead and refresh. And you can see that by console logging what we get back, this has been passed to an object in JavaScript that we can actually start to use. So what we can now do is start to traverse all of these objects and start to use it as we would normally in JavaScript. So from here, for example, you could loop through, pick out the data, display it on the page, Obviously, that's a whole nother lesson, so we'll go ahead and leave that for now.